Hi, everybody. Oh, it's so good to be with my friends again today. I hope that you're doing well and that you've had already some magnificent adventures. I'm eager to introduce you to a new friend. Well, she's an old friend of mine, and maybe she's an old friend of yours. Do you know who Ms. Frizzle is? Does that name mean anything to you, Ms. Frizzle? Ms. Frizzle is a teacher in one of the most creative classrooms I've ever heard about. And all of her classes get to go on a special ride on the magic school bus. Boy, if you don't know this story or some of her stories, I hope that you'll take the time to learn about them. You can find them. Some of them are on the TV or the computer, and there are many, many books. This one is called The Magic School Bus Wet All Over. And The Magic School Bus was started by a woman whose name is Joanna Cole. She's responsible for bringing us Ms. Frizzle. So let's listen. The Magic School Bus. We're always doing something interesting and fun in Ms. Frizzle's class. The other day we were learning about water. All of us were doing projects. Wanda and Arnold made a model waterworks. Now, just add water, said Wanda. Wanda took Arnold into the girls' bathroom to get water. Hurry, Wanda, said Arnold. This is embarrassing. What if somebody catches me in here? Wanda laughed. Who's going to catch us? Tiffany? Arnold turned red. At last, the bucket was full. Okay, Arnold, now you can take the out the plug and turn off the water, said Wanda. She picked up the heavy bucket and headed back to the classroom. Arnold started to turn off the water. Just then he heard someone come in. It was Tiffany. Tiffany? Arnold? Tiffany ran. Arnold chased after her. He had to explain, but he forgot to turn off the faucet. The water kept dripping. Arnold didn't get very far. Tim came into the hallway. It's time for your report, he said. Arnold shook his head. So far, he was having a terrible day. In the classroom, Wanda was trying out their waterworks model. We pour in the water, said Wanda. It runs, out the cleaning, runs through the cleaning tanks and out the pipe at the other end. Perfect! Arnold says, you'll drown the waterworks. Anyone have a mop? I'll get one. Who look at that. When Carlos came out of the mop closet, a big wave of water came out, and out of the water stepped our teacher, Ms. Frizzle. Did I mention that Ms. Frizzle is, well, a little different? Good morning, class, she said. Are you ready to learn about water? Uh, good morning, Ms. Frizzle. Whoa. I'd rather hit the surf ride at Waterland, said Wanda. Ms. Frizzle got that funny look she sometimes gets. Of course, she exclaimed, to learn about water, we really need to get into it. Time for a field trip. Waterland, all right. Really? Cool. Uh-oh. Do you mean a field drip, Carlos said. The Frizz led us outside to the old school bus. Dorothy Ann stopped to check her rain gauge. It really rained a lot. Nearly two inches this morning, said Tim. Dorothy Ann wrote that information in her notebook. That's a school record. From the bus. Here we go, said the Frizz. All of a sudden, there was a loud gurgling noise. Arnold's eyes widened. I have a feeling this isn't the way to Waterland, he said. Who said we were going to Waterland, said Ms. Frizzle. Why visit the water when we could actually be the water? Hold on! Suddenly the whole bus rose into the air. We felt cool and heavy. We were turning into water. With a big plop, we dripped right into Dorothy Ann's rain gauge. 
Arnold says, I hate getting wet. Welcome to real water land, said Ms. Frizzle. Wanda floated happily inside the rain gauge. This is great, she said. It's a nice and warm in here with the sun shining down. Can we stay all day? I don't think so, said Ralphie, who was starting to float right up in the air. I think we're going up. Ms. Frizzle nodded as she floated up too. When water is warmed by the sun, it evaporates or turns into a gas called water vapor, she explained. Carlos says, this class is a gas. Arnold says, I still don't like it. Soon we had all turned into water vapor and were rising up into the sky. This is too weird, said Arnold. I wish I could be water again. You are water, Arnold, said Dorothy Ann, but right now you're water vapor, which is a gas, not a liquid. It was getting cold way up there in the air. Brr, said Wanda. I, look, I'm, I'm turning into droplets. Ms. Frizzle smiled. This field trip was going according to her plan. Arnold is getting his wish. We're turning back into a liquid. We're condensing. We're a cloud. We never condensed at my old school, said Phoebe. It felt tickly to be a cloud, especially when the wind started to blow. It blew us across some water and over a forest, and there we formed one big cloud. Where are we? asked Arnold. On our way down, I believe, answered Ms. Frizzle, and our cloud was raining. Hey, we're a frizzle drizzle. Yikes! Wow, this is better than waterland. We dropped onto leaves and slid down to the ground. Then we found each other again and started downhill. Go with the flow, class, said Ms. Frizzle happily. What a ride! We ran downhill to a river which got bigger and bigger, and suddenly with a big whoosh we went over the waterfall. Where's all this water going in such a hurry? asked Phoebe when she came to the surface again. Water always flows to the lowest spot, answered the frizz, and there it is, the ocean. We made it all the way to the ocean. Good, said Arnold. Now we can rest. Sorry, Arnold, said Ms. Frizzle. This is no time to rest. Don't you feel the sun warming us? What happens next? We evaporate, said Arnold uncertainly, as we all rose into the air. Correct, called the frizz, and when we reach cold air, we condense, said Phoebe happily. I love this part. We turn into clouds and the wind blows us somewhere. Again, moaned Arnold. This is not the last time either, Arnold, said Miss Frizzle. You mean water keeps evaporating, condensing, and raining forever? gasped Arnold. Bingo, said the frizz. That's why it's called the water cycle. It happens over and over again. In fact, I think we're about to rain right now. Look out below. It's our school. We could be water the rest of our lives. We rained right back onto our own school. Whew, back at last, said Arnold. Then he looked through the window where he and Wanda had landed. Oh my gosh, it's the girls' bathroom, and I left the plug in and the water dripping. Liz has it under control, said Wanda, or is her tail stuck in the faucet? Liz nodded frantically as she tried to pull her tail out. We've got to help Liz, Wanda said, but how can we get into the bathroom? Arnold thought hard. I have an idea, he said. We're water. We have to get through the bathroom pipes. But to get to the pipes, we have to start at the waterworks, the real waterworks. Follow me. Arnold found a sunny spot. Right away, he evaporated. Well, what could we do? We all followed Arnold. It wasn't far to the waterworks, and fortunately, the wind was blowing in the right direction. Here we are, announced Arnold. We're right over the reservoir. Wanda was excited. 
hey, this is where the water is stored and where the waterworks begin. Squeeze together, class, said Ms. Frizzle. Prepare to rain. We felt ourselves being sucked into a big pipe with lots of dirt and gunk from the reservoir. I can't believe we drink this stuff, said Carlos. It gets, I, I mean, we get clean first, said Arnold. Here come the strainers. And we passed through what looked like a wire fence, leaving a lot of the gunk behind. And then we floated through some white. It's alum, exclaimed Arnold. It sponges up dirt. Now, on to the settling basin. The alum and the dirt fell to the bottom of the settling basin. A lot cleaner, we floated on. Last stop, filtration tank, announced Arnold as we flowed through some scratchy gravel. Now we just have to find the right pipe to take us back to school. This way, Arnold said, and we all followed. The pipes were big at first, but they got smaller and smaller as we went underneath the town. How much further to the school in the girls' bathroom, asked Wanda. This must be it, Arnold said. What's that green thing? Oh, do you see that little green thing right there? What do you think that is? Hey, it's Liz's tail, said Wanda. She pushed it. She pushed harder. We all pushed. It didn't budge. Liz's tail was really stuck. Well, I hate to do it, but it has to be done, said Wanda. And she bit Liz's tail hard. Oh, my gosh, said Ralphie. Well, that's one way to get the job done, said the Frizz. Now that the faucet was open, we all flooded into the bathroom sink, over the edge, onto the floor. Oh, no, said Arnold. Here comes Tiffany again. Don't let her see me. But all Tiffany saw was a flood in progress. Holy cow, she yelled, and she ran to turn off the faucet. By that time, we had all flowed out the open door, down the hall, and into the schoolyard. Perfect, said the Frizz. Now there's enough room for us and the bus to return to normal size. All aboard, please. We all flowed into the bus. With a turn of Ms. Frizzle's key and a big swooshing sound, we grew to the normal size. Tiffany, called Arnold, running over to help her from a puddle of water. Are you all right? I think so, she answered. Thank you, Arnold. Arnold's face turned pink but he was grinning from ear to ear. Well, class, what do you think of the water cycle? asked Ms. Frizzle as we followed her into the school. Wanda smiled. As usual, Ms. Frizzle, she said, your field trip really made a splash. Oh, Wanda, they said, and Ralphie said, thanks, Liz. And then here's a note at the back. Dear Magic School Bus Books, you Come on, you can't fool me. First of all, kids can't turn into water. Second, I know that water collects, evaporates, condenses, and rains, but it probably wouldn't happen three times in one day to one drop of water. Sometimes the water cycle takes weeks or years or thousands of years if it's frozen in a glacier or something. And chomping on a lizard's tail is dangerous to the lizard and to the chomper. What do you say to that? Sign, you can't fool me. Dear can't fool is the answer. Okay, kids can't turn behave like water. Please don't rain on our parade. It can take a long time, but when you're with Ms. Frizzle, things tend to happen fast. And about the chomp? Liz and Wanda turned out fine, but you're right. <laughs> don't try that at home. Yours truly, the editor. And then lastly, Here's a note from Ms. Frizzle herself. You've just taken a trip through the water cycle. It could have gone on much longer, forever in fact, because the water cycle never ends. The earth constantly moves water around on its surface. Water travels downhill in rivers to oceans, the lowest places on the earth's surface. Heat from the sun changes surface water to a gas. When the vapor cools, it condenses and falls to earth again as rain or snow. And back on Earth, it starts to collect again, traveling downhill in rivulets and rivers to the ocean. The cycle is complete. 
Along the way, plants and animals and humans take water from the cycle, use it, and return it one way or another to the cycle. Humans take water for drinking, cooking, cleaning, and manufacturing, and they return it to the water cycle. Although there is lots of water in the world, it is not always where we want it when we want it. And only a tiny part of Earth's water is drinkable. Our drinkable water is a precious resource. We need to borrow it only as we need it and return it to the water cycle in the best condition we can. Well, that's the story of the magic school bus and wet all over. I hope you liked being with the frizz. And if this was your first time to be in the magic school bus, I hope you'll look for more of those books. I always like learning about new things. I'm awful happy to be with you today. I hope you had a good time in the water cycle. And I look forward to being another story. Goodbye now.